Got him. <laughs> we back, man. Why don't we shoot nuclear waste into space? Kurtz Gazat in a nutshell. Let's get it. Here in the Kurtz labs, we test very important ideas to yep. see what happens when you blow things up or play with black holes. Indeed. Many of you suggested that we look into an idea that sounds reasonable. Shooting nuclear waste into space. It's one of those concepts that seems like an easy fix for one of the main problems with the nuclear energy. But it turns out this idea is not just bad, but horribly bad. And it gets worse the longer you think about it. Why is that? Crazy. Sounds like a good idea, but just really think about it, bro. I should... What is nuclear waste? It's just nuclear not. waste is a fuzzy term and comes in categories which vary from country to country. But yep. in general, there are three broad levels. 90% is low-level nuclear waste, tools, gloves, or trash used at a nuclear facility that could be weakly contaminated with some short-lived radioactivity. Yep. This stuff is generally safe for normal disposal. 7% is intermediate level nuclear waste, mostly Jeez. materials that have been in close proximity to a reactor core long enough to become dangerously radioactive. With proper handling, it's either safely buried or melted down and mixed into glass or concrete and stored deep underground. Yep. So 97% of nuclear waste is similar to deep toxic byproducts from That's other crazy. industries. Not great, not terrible. We can handle it. The remaining 3% is where our problems begin. Yep. High-level nuclear waste is very concentrated spent fuel taken out of a reactor core. Formerly uranium, it's now made of various dangerous and often highly radioactive elements. As a bonus, it's also incredibly hot and not easy to handle at all. This is what we want to shoot into space. All in all, around oh, 440 what? active nuclear reactors create about 11,000 tons of high-level nuclear waste each year. Boy. Since 1954, we've accumulated 400,000 tons of dangerous radioactive waste. Most countries are dealing with it by not dealing with it and kicking the exactly can towards right. the future. Let's not Great. think about it. Let's so not fuck with let's that. Let's launch it into space. Yep. According to scientists, space is big and nobody lives there. So it seems perfect for yeeting away this mess. Oh, no. There are a few tiny it problems. That has to be a long term like problem one. Stuff ain't cheap. No. Yep. Even though spaceflight is getting more affordable, it's still extremely expensive. Just to get something into low Earth orbit costs on average about four thousand dollars per kilogram. Putting that into perspective, it costs about $1,600 to mine, separate, and fabricate one kilogram of nuclear fuel. Yo. So launching waste into space has suddenly made nuclear fuel for reactors way more expensive and greatly increased the cost of the electricity they produce. Damn. To launch one reactor's worth of nuclear waste. And if it make money, bro, that shit is not going nowhere. Let's keep it on it. If that bit make money, it costs a lot to get, but you can make more off it boy would cost at least 100 million dollars per year Hell no. to deal with all the 440 operational nuclear power plants high level nuclear waste would cost some 44 billion dollars per year for and space launch before packaging transport and security listen, costs are added listen listen 44 mil is nothing we see artists out here making touring and making music they make more than that bro what was it? Bad Bunny on his tour made 150 mil in, in, in like a week or one night or some shit. Yo. 44 mil ain't shit, but... Okay, let's pretend we don't care. Yep. Currently, we couldn't shoot all the nuclear waste into space even if we wanted to. There just aren't enough rockets. Yep. In 2021, we saw a record 135 launches into space. If we repurposed each of those rockets and filled... What? Really? 35 launches into space. If we repurposed each of those rockets and filled them all with nuclear waste, the total amount that could be lifted into a low Earth orbit, which is the closest orbit above the atmosphere, is nearly 800 tons. We'd need at least 14 times more rockets to handle just today's nuclear waste, let alone get rid of the hundreds of thousands of tons in temporary storage. Damn. We would need to create entire new space industries to keep up with the demand for giant, toxic space trash trucks. Yep. And it gets worse. Problem two, space is hard. Very. <laughs> we only made the calculation for lower Boy, orbit, where we send most of our rockets and satellites. 
Littering the space around Earth with thousands of that cask shit. of spent nuclear fuel would be a nightmare for space junk management and satellite collision avoidance. Yeah. Worse still, at this altitude, there's still a little bit of atmosphere causing a tiny bit of drag, so we might have nuclear waste raining down from space within just a few years. Fuck. Experts would call this a huge problem. Clearly, we have to launch our waste further. If we wanted to send it to, perhaps, the moon, we either need way more rockets, or we need to build much bigger ones, yep. making it even more expensive. Which, yep, I was a just gonna single say, Saturn V, the rocket used by the Apollo program, say, which cost around 1.5 billion adjusted for inflation per launch, could get about 43.5 tons from the Earth to the moon. So we'd need about 260 Saturn V rocket launches every year. And of course, using the moon as target practice for nuclear waste-tipped rockets kind of makes a huge mess. So maybe don't aim for anything. Space is empty. Do we really need a target? Shooting waste in any random direction is, you guessed it, also a bad idea. Orbits are loops, which means they have a tendency to come back to where they started. Put enough in the sky in random directions, and you'll get one back eventually. Yep. So we'd want to launch our nuclear waste deep into space, which means we need even bigger rockets that would be even more expensive. <laughs> yep. Not that we would be completely safe then. Earth might run into these back. interplanetary caskets at some time in the far future exactly. and experience a pretty meteor shower made from radioactive Big dust. Rose. Fuck all that. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck all that. Is it really worth throwing all that shit up in space? You feel me? Eventually, it's just gonna come back like a fucking boomerang. Okay. How about we shoot it into the sun? Ironically, Ooh. the sun is pretty hard to hit. While the sun has very strong gravity, everything on Earth is moving with respect to the sun, yep. including the rockets that we launch, yep. meaning a rocket would have to cancel out all the orbital motion it has around the sun so it can stop orbiting and fall in. Because of this, it's actually easier to launch a rocket entirely out of the solar system than it is to launch it into the sun. But to do either of these things, we need even bigger rockets, More probably money. the biggest we've ever built. Hmm, nothing works. The thing is, it gets even worse. <laughs> Problem three, rockets, rockets go, go. Brrr. Rocket engineering has taken huge steps since the Apollo era. We've made them relatively safe. We've mostly replaced the toxic explosive cancer fuels of the past decades with much saner mixes of liquid oxygen and nice. hydrogen or kerosene. Nice. The newest designs even land themselves so that they Fire. can be reused. That's and hard, yet, bro. Out Never in a million years would I thought that. Sh would, a, would I think that a fucking rocket that's supposed to go up can be landed on itself or, you know what I'm saying, controlled in a way like, boy. Nope. When I, when I, every time I think of a rocket, I think of this. Straight up, never coming back down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. After the 146 That's launches it. in 2021, crazy, bro. there were 11 failures, which means that a sizable number of our rockets carrying high-level radioactive waste which is would not be a exploding on the launch pad, or in the worst case, disassembling at high altitude or crashing from hypersonic speeds. Yeah. Each failure would be at least equivalent to a mini Chernobyl, but instead of being contained under a slab of concrete, spread throughout the atmosphere. Radioactive particles yeah. could make their way to faraway places by riding on the winds. Yeah. Most would fall into the ocean, but some would land on the inhabited parts of the world. They could cover farmlands and get concentrated into our food or yeah. enter our water supply. Which is, well, bad. Imagine regular large-scale nuclear disasters happening. People wouldn't be happy. Conclusion and opinion part. Let's get it. Nuclear waste think, is Kurt? scary, but the fear of it and horrible ideas like shooting it into space reveals how bad we are at understanding risk. Because the largest amounts of radioactive elements like uranium and radon are actually released by coal. Burning millions of tons of coal each year leaves ash as a waste product that includes about 36,000 tons of radioactive materials. Less radioactive than high-level nuclear waste, but Crazy. there's also a lot more of it and it's handled way less carefully. Yeah. Some of this ash is caught by filters, but most is simply pushed back into leaky mines, shoved into piles exposed to the wind, back into or the air. poured into ponds that regularly spill into rivers and lakes. There it is. Living within 1.6 kilometers it of ain't ash pile increases full circle your cancer risk up to 2,000 times over the acceptable limit. And this is on top of other toxic chemicals like heavy metals and, of course, their massive CO2 emissions. Yep. 
And yet, while nuclear energy is flawed and its current form may only be a transitory technology, nuclear power plants are a harder sell than coal. Nuclear waste and the lack of willingness to deal with it are a real issue. It's not insurmountable, though. There are good methods to handle it, like burying it deep underground or reprocessing some of it into new fuel. But however we ultimately deal with this issue, we hope one thing is clear. Shooting nuclear waste into space is one of the worst ideas ever. That ass, it's just, it's Researching come back this down. crazy thing, conducting you know all of these important tests, and of course, creating this video, took us around 2,000 hours, which is insane God, for a YouTube video. How much is that, 2,000 hours? And we hours? couldn't do it without you. The homie. If you like what you just I... saw, you can continue your science journey with one of our products. They're true pieces of Kurzgesagt you can take home and touch. And they're the best way to support this channel. Like our limited edition human era calendar. The calendar, you know what I'm saying? The end is usually promotion. Respect. Crazy. Crazy, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Like he said, it kind of is like a smart idea or sounds smart. You feel me? Oh, let's just get rid of all this shit. We don't need it, right? Or we don't need so much of it every time we discover more shit. But it's like, bro. It's just going to come back down. It's just going to fuck us in the end. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man. Only people who didn't come from a TikTok are allowed to like this. You know what I'm saying? The animation style, speech, and way of making the audience understand what the concept is. Get a grasp of the concept. It's so perfect. Maybe you could do a video about the possibility. Possibility, usefulness, log logistics of Australia digging a canal through itself to help it become more habitable. This channel explains topics like these so well. What? Hearing the narrator go brr has made my vacation too much better. <laughs> that much better. If Kurt was my teacher, I would like to be in school every single moment of my day. Dead ass, bro. The way they 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 approach their videos and, and actually like provide information to us and shit is so easy to understand. You know what I'm saying? Where in school is just like, oh, read a book, read a chapter. You gotta understand it. And I'm gonna quiz you on it. And if you fail, you fail. Like boy. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy, bro. All this nuclear shit. Like I said, it takes money to get rid of it and all of that. Take care of it, whatever. But then it's like, it makes money too. So it's like, you don't want to get rid of that if it's making money. You feel me? That's just how it is, bro. But that's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.